I'm gonna show you how I cook my curry salmon reduced in coconut milk. Right here, I have my season that I'm going to be using to season my salmon. I'm going to go ahead with a teaspoon and I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle that all over it. So we're gonna use about a teaspoon and a half, right? All right, so my salmon pieces are well seasoned and ready to go. If you notice, I did not add any black pepper or salt because when we're going to make the sauce, our coconut sauce, our curry coconut sauce, we're going to be adding the flavor there. All right, so this sauce right here, that I, this season that I use right here have all the ingredients that you need for the salmon. All right, so let's go over to our pot. All right, so I'm going to just wait until the oil is hot for me to put my fish in. Before I do so, I go a piece of thyme and also a piece of garlic. All right, all right, so my oil is hot and ready to go. Let's go ahead and start adding our salmon. that we don't want to really leave it in there too long. Is it necessary to do this step? If you're going to reduce, if you're going to cook it down in, in, in you know your milk, not necessarily, but I like to do this um, this step right here. Okay? I like to sear it first. See, I'm taking it out. You see how quick that was? See how quick that was? The outside. Your onions and stuff, you want to go ahead and put those in there too. The tomato. Go ahead and mix it around. And I'm also going to add my coconut milk to the, to the pot as well. Hey, anytime you link curry and milk together, may I tell you the aroma you get. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. In there as well. Now I'm going to cover this and let this cook for about five minutes and then I'll come back and add my fish. All right, so it's been about five minutes now. The gravy are going good, it smells good, everything nice and curry. If you notice, I did not add any salt. Do not add no salt. Well, it all depends. If you don't have the season that I have, which is the salmon season that I use, then you can use your salt. But because I use the salmon season, you don't want no salt in like this, baby girl. No, you don't want no salt. All right, so let me take my time on my salmon then because you know salmon delicate then delicate like myself, y'all. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the pot. Get my under dandy spoon and start throw some gravy up on the top. Now may I cover my pot for about a good 10, 15 minutes and then this is done and ready to eat. I'm going to go ahead and pair this with some white right? Let me know in the comment section what you're having for your Sunday dinner today. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and cover this for about, as I mentioned before, 10, 15 minutes, 
then I come back and show you guys the final look. All right, guys, there you have it. Salmon, curry salmon reduced in coconut milk. Guys, I just tasted it. And me, I tell us, say this is the bomb.com. Take a closer look. The, sm the smell of the coconut and curry mixed together smells amazing. Guys, I enjoy making this video for you. If you like it, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that like button. Until next time, bye.